Hello, and welcome to the video. Here is a quick and easy do-it-yourself project making miniature versions of the yo-yo string toy. Materials are shown and listed below in the description box. Select two quarter inch diameter by one sixteenth or so flat buttons from your button jar, tin, bin, or purchase from a store or online. You can check the size of the buttons with a ruler or a template. Cut a two and a half inch to three inch length from any color of all purpose thread, like cotton or polyester blends. Form a finger circle hole at one end of the thread. I am using a darning needle to wrap a double knot around it. I place the darning needle into a pin cushion. Then I preform the knot on the thread and then I wrap it around the needle. Place a dab of glue on the knot. Then tie another knot so it's a double. The tweezers help me pull it through the little hole. Pull the thread ends taut and then cut the excess off the short end. Gently slide the thread off the needle in a rotating motion. To make the inside pieces, hand cut or paper punch two cardstock 1 8 inch circles, any color of paper, because they will not be visible. Place a dot of glue on one circle piece center. Then press the unknotted hole side of the string on the top of that glue. Add more glue to the top of the string and press the other 1 8 inch circle on top so the string is in between the two circles. Let that dry a few moments. Next, place a glue dot on the inside of one flat button middle. These buttons have a flat surface on the back and kind of a dip inward on the top. Glue the two flat sides together with the string in between. Place the thread circle piece in that center. Press down. Now add glue to the top of the eighth inch circle and just keep it on that circle. Then place the other button on top, gently pressing and making sure that they're centered on top of each other. Let dry. You can decorate the sides by gluing sequins, tiny stickers, paper designs, or with markers. Seal with glue or Mod Podge. When dry, for this yo-yo, I used red buttons, placed a silver sequin on the base side, and then a silver circle 1 8 inch on the top of that one, and then repeated for the other side. When the decorations are dry, you can now wind the thread around the center of the yo-yo. The miniature yo-yo is now ready to display. So does the miniature yo-yo work like a regular yo-yo? Well, I kind of have to shake it a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Here are some ideas to decorate the yo-yos. And the side version showing different colors of string. Actually, I have made yo-yo fabric pillows using two methods. And I got sidetracked after looking up yo-yo history. So I took a break to see if I could make a miniature toy version. My yo-yo pillow video will be ready soon. I hope you like and share this fun project making mini yo-yo toy replicas. Thank you so much for watching.